I came up with this cool way to visualize interferograms better. This is what a perfect parabolic mirror would look like in a bath interferometer if it had plus 12 waves of x-tilt, which means the right side of the mirror is 12 waves closer than the center, and the left side is 12 waves farther from the center, and if it had a Z8 term of minus 3 waves. For example, an 8-inch F3.25 mirror would give you minus 3 for the Z8 term. This Z8 term is the difference in height of a parabolic mirror versus a spherical mirror. Anyway, you can see the fringes are almost the same thing as contour lines on an elevation map. Each fringe from red to red or black to black is one wavelength of the wave front. The mirror height is half that because the light travels to the mirror and also back. So the measurements are doubled for the wave front. What I'm doing here is showing the wave height as the Z direction, the up direction. The height is, of course, magnified a lot, so you can see the height of each wavelength of light. This also makes it so you can see the mirror surface shape. When we look at the wavefront from the side here, you see that each fringe is an evenly spaced altitude, just like elevation maps. The next time you see an igram and DFT fringe, look at the x and y tilt. Positive x tilt means the right side is closer, negative means the left side is closer, positive y tilt means the top is closer. Then, knowing that the edge of the igram is closer, tilt the igram in your mind and you should be able to suddenly see the igram in three dimensions knowing that these are elevation lines. If you want to make this same animation yourself, it's amazingly easy and instructions are in the description below. Links to all my bath videos are on my webpage at gr5.org bath. I sell very accurate and very inexpensive bath interferometer kits, and there's links for how to make them yourself on that page as well. You can either get the entire kit or just the parts you need. Good luck!